Part of the dream of the 90s uh, was uh, multidisciplinarity, I think. Um, there's this idea that many of the tools of making things were becoming available to everyone with, you know, laptop publishing and cheap video uh, cameras and stuff. And I think uh, it was easy to imagine that one could kind of try one's hand at many different things. And so for me, that ended up resolving into three main uh, streams of endeavor. Um, one of which was kind of curating and art writing, one of which was painting, and one of which was video. And I'm just going to give you a quick little tour of that stuff. Um, the, uh, um, the curating that I was doing, I guess I was under the impression as a young person too that part of the job of being an artist um, was to party. <coughs> um, <laughs> and that like there's a sort of just bohemian tradition of like, social scene making. And so I think for myself, part of the pleasure of like organizing art shows was trying to create social situations under the umbrella of, of art. And, um, and on that level, I think these, these events were reasonably successful. Um, I also, it's also hard for me to remember, but at that time I was very anti-rock. Like I, all, so many of my friends were musicians that I felt like someone had to do something else. And so part of my plan with this was just forcing people to make something that didn't involve guitars. And um, it was this sort of despotic urge of mine to, you know, change people's creative path, um, which ended up, I think that was part of why a lot of the work that got made was a little bit half-assed, because no one really cared that much. It was like they would rather be doing what they enjoyed. Um, <laughs> and I came to learn that eventually.